guys, welcome to Boxing Block Center, the home of Nigerian African Boxing. And please, if you're new to this channel, make sure you click the like and of course the subscribe button, and also go to the official bell icon, click it, and select all. So that I'm not opening a new, a new exclusivity, you will definitely be notified. So, still on steel, still on the matter. Like we Nigerians say, still on steel. I guess a lot of you guys want to Nigerians don't understand what I mean. Steel on steel. Daniel Dubois versus Anthony Joshua or Joshua versus Dubois in Wembley for the IBF title September 21st. It's been hired by Eddie Matro Boxing. This is what Team Joshua and Team Matrum wants. I'm gonna say this right now. I'm gonna make it plain. This is basically a cry out. I know in the past we did all we did in the past where whereby we wanted to see the the best fight the best. Water Joshua should have been undisputed by now. We know it was for undisputed. But somehow, some way, egos got into it and then the fans got into it as well. I can boldly say, yeah, I was right then, but I will say one thing, Joshua was the A-side then, and still the A-side now. It's amazing how Joshua was basically trashed by the Water fans and Fury fans, and Water fans and Fury fans came together to basically trash Anthony Joshua and bury him, basically. That was their intention, but... Joshua did a rebirth, came back alive, came back to life again. It's amazing how you can write somebody off and then they keep coming back. I believe Joshua will always come back. This is why my support never wavered and would never waver. Now, Joshua must not, I repeat, must not fight Dubois if the IBF tattoo is not on the line. A lot of the Team Dubois um, supporters, the Team Dubois, they are so desperate for this fight. Not because they believe they will win, because they know those right hands that Dubois got hit by Egovich over 56 fucking right hands. Even Tony Bellew, I don't, I might not agree with Tony Bellew and everything he says. He said, listen, you took over 50 fucking right hands from Ergovic. And then you if you use that same method thinking I'm gonna out with this guy, I'm gonna take those right hands from Joshua, bro. You're getting put to sleep. Ngano, in my opinion, has a better chin than uh than than Dubois. Ngano. Francis Ngano has a better chin than Dubois. Facts. Ngano has been elbow, hit to the head. Um, he's been smacked to the face. He's been. Do you know how Ngano? How many times Ngano have been basically kicked to the head, and he kept like he wobbles, but he comes back stronger. But when Joshua's left took landed, he shook him. This is why Joshua's power is very underrated. I like the fact that Joshua is not viewed as the most powerful puncher right now since water is no longer, the right hand of water is no longer effective because it gives opposition this false impression of Joshua being chinny, Joshua being uh, vulnerable and then Joshua shook, shook, shook them and will continue to shoot them. That's just how it is. So Joshua must not fight Dubois if the IBF tattoo is not on the line. This is a game right here. This is a chess play by Frank Warren. Frank Warren is the promoter of both Dubois and Paxton the Gypsy Queen Fury. Frank Warren can easily get this fight made by enforcing the IBF do their job. Strip Usyk. Usyk doesn't. 
Usyk already said he wants to move back down to Cruiserweight after the Fury fight, which means there will be no trilogy. So why do we have to wait for Usyk just to have a second fight and then move back down? Usyk doesn't want to fight the top contenders in the division. He doesn't want to be defending those belts because he knows he's not a natural heavyweight. At some point, it will catch up to you. Usyk wants to go back down to to the weight he feels more comfortable at. And that is understandable. Joshua Dubois at Wembley is a great fight. But it has to be something on the line. Frank Warren, do the needful. Make the IBF do their job so that we can have this fight. Because Joshua fighting Dubois at Wembley Stadium for no belt, for nothing to gain but everything to lose. I mean, it's not really a good business deal. Joshua is a fighting man, but you fight for a prize. If Joshua fights Jang, he has more to gain fighting Jang than he has he has to gain fighting uh, uh, Dubois because Jang beat Water and Jang is seen as one of the most dangerous guys. He's never been dropped as a pro. Joshua is the only guy to have dropped Jang throughout his whole career. Not as a professional, but as an amateur. He dropped. If Joshua could drop Jang back then, Jang still fight the same way, basically. Same way. He had more speed, speed back then than he is now, though. But he still fight the same way. Joshua's combination shook Jang. Joshua Pockets are there. That's a big fight to make. So, Dubois wants to be great. But to be great, you have to have a prize or prize um, on site. And then the prize is IBF right now. You want to become a champion, a world champion? Joshua wants to become a three time world champion. So let's get it made. Let's go.